hello guys my name is jayesh welcome to my channel and in this video we will be solving a lab named as managing networks from chapter 17 comprehensive review in the course red hat system administration 1 8.2 so in this lab we will configure and test network connectivity okay so i have two tabs open here so one is in workstation server and the another one is the server b so First of all, uh, we have to determine the Ethernet interface name on server B and the connection profiles name it uses. So for that we will use ap link command and so as you can see it uses at 0 interface name. Okay, so we will use this at 0 interface name here okay then we have to after that on server b we have to create a new connection profile called static for the available ethernet interface and set the network setting statically so, th so that it does not use the dhcp okay and uh, so on server b uh, so we will use nmcli utility to create the static connection with the uh, provided network settings so on server B, we will use sudo nm pli connection add then on name which is static then the type is ethernet okay then uh, if name at zero uh, IPv4 dot address addresses which is one seventy two dot twenty five dot two five zero dot one 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 slash twenty four okay and then IPv4 dot gateway which is 172.25.250.254 dot then uh, IPv4 dot DNS which is 172.25.250 dot zero but 254 then ipv4 dot method which is manual okay we'll enter the password for sudo okay so now as you can see connection static successfully added now we will use the hostname ctl command to set the server b hostname to server dash review 4 dash so server dash review 4 dot lab 4 dot example dot com and we will verify the new hostname okay, so for that we will use hostname ctl utility hostname ctl then set hostname object then server the name of uh, server b which is server dash review 4 dot lab 4 dot example dot com okay and then uh, we will use hostname to verify yes as you can see here it's it's displayed then uh, the fifth task is so on server B we have to edit the slash hc slash hosts file to set client dash review 4 as the canonical host name for the IP for address 172.25.250.10 of the host which is server a dot lab dot example dot com so for that uh, we have to edit the slash hc slash hosts file and add uh, add the canonical host name 
so for that we will use vim editor and we will add the changes here we will save the changes and clear the screen then we will test it by ping Okay, for two packets, the name that we just entered in the etc host file, which is client dash review four. Okay, so two packets sent and two packets received successfully. Then we will modify the connection profile static to configure the additional IP for addresses like 172.25.250.211 with the net mask 255.255.255.0 on the same server B interface with the existing static settings and make sure like we we should not remove the existing IP for addresses and then we will verify that server B responds to all the addresses when the modified connection profile is active for that we will use NMCLI utility uh, to add the new IP address so Uh, so we will use uh, nmcli nmcli connection modify the connection name which is static uh, then ipv4 dot address addresses and we have, we will add 172 dot 25.250.211/24. Okay, and then we will use nmcli command to activate the new IP address. So for that, sudo nmcli connection up connection name which is static. Okay, so now as you can see, connection successfully activated, and then uh, we will uh, verify it from workstation using the ping command. We will verify the IP address uh, 172.25.250.211 can be reached. So ping for two packets. The IP address is 172.25.250.211. Dot two one one and yeah, two packets transmitted and two received. So now on server B, we will restore the uh, we will restore the console and use the nmcli command to activate the original network profile. Okay, for that we will use sudo nmcli connection up then connection name which is wire connection 1 yeah so now the connection is activated then we from workstation we will open the SSH session to server BH student to verify that the original network settings are successfully activated so SSH student and server B yes so we can reach to the server B and the name is also that we set in the hostname city which is server dash review 4 so now uh, we will log out from server B and exist and exit all but one terminal on workstation okay we will exit from server B and here also we will exit from server B then we will grade this lab using a custom command then we will finish the lab and end the environment for that we will use the finish command
yes so that's it from my side uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing my channel thanks for watching